One for wigs, one for wigs, wigs, one for one for Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Wonderful Wigs. So today I'm doing that compare and contrast that I mentioned uh, from the last video of the Outre curly unit uh, that is just before this. If you haven't seen that episode, by all means, go back and check it out because that is a beautiful Outre unit, as is this one. They're just slightly different. So this one is by Lord & Company. It's a lace wig with a four inch deep lace part and it's called UGBL015 tilde. The color is TT6 slash 1224. So when I first saw this wig on uh, online, I thought it looked like exactly what I wanted, you know, these big bouncy curls and I had to use the flat iron to flatten it out at the top. Once I did that, it looked much better on my head. Right now, this is not secured at all with any sort of uh, spray, hairspray or glue or anything. I've just used the two combs that are on the side of the wig and it holds down very well around the edges. I feel very comfortable to go out with this wig just like this. I also put the scalp tape in the middle of the parting space, which isn't a very big parting space. It isn't very far back, but I'm fine with it as it is. My only concern, uh, you know, this wig, by the way, is a human hair blend. I don't know if I mentioned that as yet, but it is a human hair blend, which adds another dimension to it. My only concern is what happens when this gets combed out. There are instructions for how to comb through it and how to shampoo it and how to dry it. But to be honest, just a little bit of handling, putting this on and off the wig stand, it already starts to get the curls undone, bigger and a little bit tangled. So I'm using my finger to sort of go through it and uh, smooth out where it gets a little bumpy. I'll show you the back of it. So I like the color a lot. I like the gradation of color from dark brown to blonde at the ends. It is a little bit jarring, the blonde, I think, but it's what I wanted, so there's, there it is. Uh, the obvious difference is in the color. You know, the Outre has a much more subtle uh, mixture of colors all through the hair. This one, it goes from uh, one gradation to the next in a sort of ombre style. And also, uh, the curls on the Outre are a little less Thick. they're a little less tight so it's it's much more flowing and it's a little bit it lays a little bit more neatly on your head it's not as thick as this hair and it's longer as well it's a little longer so I mean depending on what look you're going for you know this could be good but there's no parting space of course that's the other big difference between the Outre and this Lord & Company uh, the Outre is a lace frontal, so there's tons of parting space to move the hair around from one side to the next. This one, the look has to pretty much stay as it is on your head. And, you know, I'm happy with it like that too. I don't really want to do much more than what the wig is asking for, but I think my preferred one for the summer, again, because the hair is lighter, the cap is lighter as well. You know, this is not wefted, the Outre wig is wefted. So it's, for the summer, I think the Outre one will probably be a better wear outside when it gets hot. This one will probably be much more hot and if you ask me, more of a winter style uh, wig to wear because of its construction and the thickness of the curls. Um, I wanted to say as well that next week I have another colorful wig coming and I have some other uh, synthetics that I recently acquired which I will cover on the channel. I'm looking forward to doing some more summer hair with you so please tune in again. I'm probably going to do one uh, video next week because I'll be busy with some other stuff. If anyone's interested in yoga, I started another channel about yoga. There are no words, so this is not really a teaching channel. It's called Yoga with Nico, so you can look that up, Yoga, yoga with Nico, N-I-C-O, which is my first name shortened. And uh, I do about five to 10 minute videos, sometimes a little bit longer, and it's mostly basic poses mostly uh, basic yoga poses and just some regular stretching to get us ready, like I said, for summer. And uh, I think that's an important part 
of getting ready for summer, not just about our hair and our makeup and our beautiful bathing suits, but you know, eating well and getting our bodies in order with some exercise. Um, maybe if you're interested, comment down below. Let me know if there's stuff you want to discuss with food and diet. I think you know that's a pretty personal thing. So I again will be sh happy to share what I've been eating, and it's a lot of protein. I'm really into a lot of protein these days and a lot of salads. And every now and again, I'm going to eat some ice cream with my son or something else like that. But I'm trying to eat very healthy. For the most part, I've reduced how much alcohol I drink. I really don't like to drink a lot of alcohol these days, but every now and again, like for example, my friend had a birthday, so I'll have a glass of wine or a couple glasses of champagne. But you know, I think alcohol adds a lot of calories to our diet, which are just, again, empty calories, not really adding any nutritional value and probably not so good for our health in large quantities. But uh, having said that, um, by all means, join me again on another episode. Please like this, share if you got something out of it, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button so you know when next I upload another wonderful Wix video. And please join me, like I said, on Yoga with Nico. If you're new to yoga, this might be good for you. Uh, the philosophy of yoga is not at all something that I'm discussing. Like I said, it's silent videos and you just follow along through my gestures. And, you know, just be careful of yourself, be careful of your health. If something doesn't feel good, don't do it. It's as simple as that, you know, not everything I'm able to do, everyone will be able to do. And there are other people who do much more advanced yoga that I'm not going to really be doing here. Not only because I can't do it, but also because I think it's not useful to people who are beginning in yoga to deal with all that other stuff. So thanks again. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you again soon on another episode of Wonderful Wigs. Have a great week. Wonderful Wigs. Wait, wait, one, four.